for me, how I get in the zone um, is sort of game day. I feel like my time of the week is when I put those headphones on. I know that's everything's done, all our meetings are done. Um, it's time to warm up and it's time to prep, it's time to get ready, it's time to play. The work for me is done throughout the week. I don't roll up on match day and think, all right, now I'm going to do A, B and C. Physically knowing that I've done the work and writing out exactly, you know, I want to do 100 handballs left and right hand, for example. And then mentally reading back over what I've done gives me great confidence. What I'm about to go do, I've done the work, the body of work's behind me. So, um, yeah, I found early days it helps me getting out of my own head. Instead of making a plan in my head, put it on paper and then I'll be much more accountable to it. And then I've used it as a tool to gain confidence as well. So I can look back, you know, Monday you've done this, you know, Wednesday night you went for a swim at the beach, Thursday you're back at the beach again. And when I read back through the week of what I've done, um, it gives me great comfort to know that I've done a power of work and then now the fun parts, the, the game day. Also, um, looking at opposition, players I might play on or trends of their side, um, looking at those things as well. I sort of feel like when I leave here the day before for um, our captain's run finishes, that's when the work's done for me. I've prepared really well, I've done all the work the day before um, and then it just comes down for me from 24 hours out, 36 hours out, it's all nutrition and hydration, making sure I'm eating the right food, I'm fueling my body correctly, and that I'm really, you know, not super hydrated, but I'm hydrated enough to go into the game feeling confident. So obviously in night games um, and day games, we get there quite early. So we get there two, sometimes three hours before, and I'm someone who likes to get there nice and early. So yeah, I, I often go in, we've got a quiet room, take my headphones in um, yeah, and just decompress for 20 minutes. I'll do usually just a body scan um, or some breath work. And that just helps me sort of, yeah, just relax, um, get really present, also recharge. I feel like it helps me, um, you know, recharge the battery a little bit and yeah, then go out there and um, perform optimally. So yeah, it's something that I do, you know, most days off as well. I'll do, as I said, a meditation for 20, 25 minutes. Um, you know, with young kids, if I'm ever struggling with sleep or anything like that, I'll make sure I get one in that day. Just finally it really re-energizes me and just helps me get grounded. For me, how I get in the zone um, is sort of game day, I feel like my time of the week is when I put those headphones on. I know that's everything's done, all our meetings are done. Um, it's time to warm up and it's time to prep, it's time to get ready, it's time to play. And that's always been my thing is once it's all done, chuck the headphones on, chuck some music on, loosen up, run out, get a sweat up, get ready to go. And that's how, yeah, I best find that I can get in the zone. I'm not a big music buff, so I don't really know the names. I've just got the playlist that I listen to. And it's quite funny sometimes, <clears throat> some of the kids' songs that I've got at home, the kids accidentally add them to my playlist. So yeah, there'll be Peppa Pig or Bluey or something that pops on. It just helps me relax before a game. I'll start laughing if I hear one of the kids' songs come on. I think over the years, one of the big things is in the off seasons and stuff like that is just stay away from the place. Um, it's funny, I always turn up for day one of pre-season, but in the off season, um, yeah, making sure I train at some different venues or use different footy grounds, just explore Melbourne a little bit or if I'm you know, in Queensland or overseas, just that break of getting away from the place because you know, when you come back in here, it's such a great environment that you can lose a bit of time just yakking to people you haven't seen them for a month or whatever. So yeah, and I, I love trying new fitness things, new you know, mental things as well. So trying to explore and learn off different sports or doing some, um, you know, last year I did some time in the NBL, I've done some time in the A-League, things like that that can you know, challenge your mind and see how others operate.